A selfie goes horribly wrong when a visitor to Yellowstone National Park gets more than he bargains for. The bison he's trying to photograph is a little camera shy and decides to teach the intruder a painful and powerful lesson. Hit like and subscribe. This is Fierce. Yellowstone National Park is a wilderness stretching for more than 2.2 million acres. It's situated in the northwest corner of Wyoming and extends into Montana and Idaho. Visitors are treated to thermal springs and geysers. There are numerous campgrounds, tracks, and trails to follow on foot or by bike, and a plethora of wildlife to photograph and admire amongst the stunning scenery. It's home to 6,000 bison, a herd which came from the original herds that swept North America's Great Plains 200 years ago. Before European settlers arrived on the continent, there were thought to be as many as 30 million bison roaming the grasslands and open plains. But as hunting gripped America, their numbers plummeted and they reached an all-time low of just 1,000 individuals in the 1800s. Since then, conservation efforts have rescued this iconic species from the brink of extinction, and they are now thought to be just over 30,000 across all of North America. This makes the Yellowstone herd all the more remarkable for having avoided the mass slaughter that plagued their species all those years ago. They are resilient and hardy, and although they may look docile and friendly, they can deliver a powerful attack should the need arise. A remarkable number of people are caught off guard by bison every year. The animals are typically observed by the 4 million visitors that make it to Yellowstone each year, grazing grasses or slowly ambling across the roads in front of vehicles. But they can run up to 35 miles per hour in short bursts. An adult male can stand up to seven feet tall at the shoulder and built like a boulder can weigh in excess of 2,000 pounds or 900 kilograms. They can fend off the likes of wolves, coyotes, and bears, using their sharp horns to gore the predator. Sometimes people find themselves on the end of a bison charge, its head bowed down and its horns pointed directly forward, as evidenced by this video, when stupidity got the better of more than one park visitor in 2023. They are considered the most dangerous animal in Yellowstone National Park, as they are responsible for more injuries to visitors than any other animal. Most commonly, they charge at vehicles that do not give them enough time and space to cross the open roads. But they are also the easiest animal to avoid being attacked by if you know what to look for. Bison give you plenty of warning signs before charging. They may even mock charge. Body language is crucial to determining whether the animal is feeling anxious or not. If its tail is hanging down naturally, then the bison is feeling calm. But as they ready themselves to charge, their tails stand on end. Lowering their heads is another sure sign of an imminent charge. They may begin pawing the ground and snort or bellow. If you notice any of these signs, then you should move away as quickly as possible. Run or walk in the opposite direction. If you have bear spray, then release the canister if the bison continues to follow you. In 2022, two people were gored by bison in Yellowstone, and in 2023, that number rose to three before the year was up. As one visitor spotted a bison beside the road, he stopped his vehicle and climbed out. He wanted to get a clear photo of the enormous bull. It was an impressive sight, an iconic animal of Yellowstone, and indeed North America. He crossed the road over to where the bison was standing grazing grass. Its head was down, but even as it ate, it was alert. It could see the man approaching, and still it continued to graze, seemingly unaffected by the close proximity. When the visitor carelessly ignored the 25-foot rule and continued to approach the enormous wild animal, the bison started to become anxious. Other visitors watched dumbfounded as the man showed absolutely no regard for the animal's right to space or his own safety. Even to the untrained eye, it was clear the large male bison was agitated. He felt threatened by the intruder. He was too close for comfort. The bison began shuffling its feet. It let out a deep guttural snort, a warning sign that an attack was imminent. The man turned with his back to the animal and raised his camera to take a photo, showing just how close he was to the bison. 
It was a photo that he was proud of, one he could show to his friends and no doubt post on social media. He wasn't afraid of some fluffy cow, but instead of walking away after his photo, the man persisted in taking more shots. The bison now briefly pawed the ground, and yet the visitor continued to snap photos. Then it charged. Horrified onlookers watched as the tourist was hit by the 2,000-pound bison. He flew 10 feet through the air and crashed onto the ground. The wind was knocked from his lungs, and he gasped for air. He was stunned. It was like being hit by a bus, and only now was he beginning to realize just how dangerous these animals can be. But his ordeal didn't end there. The bison still wasn't through with him. It lowered its enormous round head, and the sharp horns pierced his skin and gouged his side. As he lay in a crumpled mess on the ground, the man's heart was pounding in his chest. The huge bison stood over him. It repeatedly lowered its horns and gored him driving its head into the man's body. The power behind the attack was indescribable. There was nothing he could do except for squeeze his eyes shut and hope that it would stop soon. He gritted his teeth and clenched his fists, and then, just as quickly as it had begun, the attack stopped. The bison had subdued the threat, and it turned and walked away, heading back to the grazing ground from where it came. Other tourists snapped a photo of the tourist face down underneath the huge bison. The animal's tail is standing upright, curled over slightly at the top. Its head is buried in the man's upper body. Miraculously, the tourist survived the attack and walked away with only minor injuries, a seriously damaged ego, and a killer photo. The picture of him lying helplessly on the ground as the bison towered above him, however, was posted on Yellowstone's social media sites. The victim didn't receive any sympathy from the general public. Instead, he was mocked for being so stupid, and park officials used the image as a warning to everyone who approached wild animals to always keep their distance. The park is full of signs warning visitors about the dangers posed by wild animals, in particular bison. It's advised to stay at least 25 feet away from bison, Although bison calves look small and playful, they need as much space as the adults. The mothers can be incredibly protective of their young and will ward off any potential predators or threats without hesitation. Despite attacks like these making the headlines in America, people still refuse to heed the warnings. People who fall victim to a bison attack and their own stupidity are lucky to survive. They may think that bears and wolves pose more of a risk, but what is most likely to get them killed is their own lack of consideration and respect for these wild animals.